Hey guys, it's Melanie Ferguson here and it is Friday night and we are painting my cabinets. So here's the story. I paid a company to come and paint my house and paint my kitchen cabinets and it's thoroughly worth it if you can get someone good to do it. Um, but mine, no. So I have been in the process for the last three days of redoing them. And I thought I would just hop on live and show you guys a little bit about what goes into painting your kitchen cabinets. This lighting is terrible. I have, I have painter's lamp in here. Um, but yeah, first I sanded down all the cabinets and then I put a little primer all over them. And now I'm to the painting part and I was just gonna kind of show y'all <clears throat> a little bit about what that looks like. So I just got my nails done today, so I wanna make sure I put on gloves and that um, I took them off so I could use my phone. My uh, phone won't work with the gloves on. Okay, so you can kinda of see I've already done all these cabinets. It's just my lower ones are getting the smoky blue Sherwin-Williams. The upper ones have white. Oh gosh. The upper ones are white. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna see if I can't hook this um, thing up over here so that you guys can see what I'm gonna be doing. Hang tight. All right, so I am over on this side of the kitchen working now. Here we go. And these are the, um, so then there's the ones I just finished down there. And then this is the ones I'm working on. So I'm just gonna finish these right here. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to listen to some Christmas music so I can remember what season we're in while I'm painting because it's just like, ah. But I did wanna give you a little hint. Um, well, first of all, make sure you always have like a painter's light because you wanna be able to see it. My house is really dark, so I wanna make sure it's all lit up. And uh, so, hey, when you hop on here, say hey, so I know you're watching with me. And um, so here's the drawers. The, one of the hints is to do the edges first. And I have lots of different um, things here. I've got a little artist brush. Um, so you definitely don't want the paint to run. But just do the edges first, and then go back and do the faces of the cabinets, okay? Um, so what happened for me was um, these are stuck. So I didn't paint them closed, but it won't come open. This one will come open, but you know, you take the handles off, so I can't get this open. So you just take a screwdriver, this is a great little tip, and you just put it in the little hole where the hardware would have been, and you pull it out that way. Did you see that? I hate turning my back, but I have to to show y'all. And then I'm gonna do it for the rest of them too. So pull them out so that I can get to them. Okay, so here's the fun part. I already did the edges of the, of the trim on this side. And y'all, I'm trying to hurry and finish this clearly because it's Christmas. And second of all, because we're having um, family come in and um, Stay with us. Um, we're leaving tomorrow, but then they're coming on um, Monday to stay with us. So, trying to get this done. All right, so I have two different size um, rollers here, y'all. I don't know if you can see the stuff I'm using, but I'm going to start at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to start at the bottom. Normally I would start at the top and go down in case it drips, but I've been doing this a little bit, so I think I'm okay. And again, I'm just going over the faces. Just light roller. And you just want a really light coat. I mean, in a perfect world, you're gonna do two coats and maybe even sand in between. But these are really old cabinets, so I'm not gonna care that much. 
Um, these are the original cabinets to this house. So they are um, about 50 years old. All right, so I am gonna just go on to this one because I still have paint on my uh, sponge roller. And then I can just keep adjusting the drawer with my hands underneath. This tiny roller. And I just offload it really, really well over on my tray and go over the top. So you can't really see the color very well on the video, but I will, I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm going to do a blog on the entire renovation so you can see the um, before and after of the whole house. So, this is probably the, the only part that I had to completely do over uh, was the kitchen cabinets. Because that's another important thing, y'all. Um, they had latex on them. They had lots of layers of latex and they had like a oil and then lay, uh, layers of latex. And with that, you want to make sure and go back over it with um, sanding it down first and then uh, applying an oil-based primer and then uh, this is latex actually that I'm going back over it with, but it's fine. All right, tell me what y'all are doing. I'm sure y'all are doing Christmas stuff. I still have to wrap gifts after this. And I think we're still going to go see some Christmas lights. So, I'm trying to make this go really fast. And then these have to dry for like 48 hours. Um, hey. I don't know why that's the same. No, and I meant to say that, Carrie. I meant to say, hey, listen, I'm sharing these tips with you guys, but in no way, shape, or form think for one second that I'm gonna go start doing this for others. It was definitely a labor of love um, because I wanted mine to be done and be right. But no, I am not going to do this. So much else on my plate. In fact, clearly, I should be wrapping gifts, but this was priority. Okay, so the little artist brush comes in really handy, y'all. Alright, I'm just going to do the bottom of this drawer first.
want it to be uniform. So that when it dries, it all looks the same. too much. So I'm going to take this other roller and kind of get some of it off. And then in a couple minutes, I will look back and see if anything looks like it's dripping um, and just make sure that it's drying right. And then I sometimes get my little perfecting brush out and kind of hit the spots that I think need it. So, hey Amy. All right, so y'all, I'm going to finish this last little corner over here and then um, call the painting quits tonight. So um, then we're going to go look at some lights and pack because we are leaving. And um, oh yeah, wrap gifts. Hmm. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good evening and I hope you enjoy these DIY painting cabinet tips. Um, and if you are, if you just hop, are just now hopping on, be sure to watch the replay so you can find out what we shared. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good night and Merry Christmas early. Talk to you later. Bye. And you know what? My gloves won't let me work on the phone. Hold on. Hey, Cindy. Bye.